What's up, Wolfpack fam? It's your boy, Kid, back at it again. Hope you're doing well today. Suggestion comes from Scott Webb. Shout out to you, homie. We're going to be checking out the Military Wives Choir wherever you are. Let's get it. My husband is Major John Cresswell, and he um, is in 2 9 Commando. The choir was set up six months ago, and it's for wives and girlfriends, mothers and daughters um, of families of deployed units and it was set up by Gareth Malone. It's been an absolute godsend to us while the men are away. Each rehearsal that we have, you look forward to that date so you've got something else to think about. You get to sing and it, it, all your emotion comes out. So. At the Festival of Remembrance we're singing Wherever You Are and it's been composed by Paul Mila and he's took lyrics from letters that we've wrote and he's tried to put them together in a song that's really going to represent what we're about and about the boys coming home and that's what we want to say to them. While Tom's been away, I've tried to write every day. Letters are really important to us because you're out there and you've been, you've been working hard and you, you know that there's an influx of letters due in soon, so you see the helo come in, landing with the mailbags and you think, oh, I hope I've got a letter. The tour has been a huge challenge. When the incidents have happened, they've come out of nowhere in, in many senses. We have enjoyed success out there, but it's been, um, it's been tempered naturally by the, by the sad losses that we've taken. In terms of maintaining morale, letters, letters are essential, um, that reminder of home. John came home two weeks ago, and it was wonderful. The children were counting down the days and the hours, and, you know, you, you go through sort of a mixture of emotions. It's excitement, it's nerves, it's relief. You're waiting for seven months for that one day to come, and it's so long to wait for one day. And it's just, it's just so exciting, like, and it doesn't matter how long you've been together, every time I go to pick him up, I get butterflies. I hope that with this song and these beautiful words, we are able to capture that emotion of what it's like when you're away from the person you love the most. For example, the lines, wherever you are, my heart will keep you safe, my love will build a bridge of light across both time and space. I mean, it's beautiful. it doesn't get better than that. Sitting in the Albert Hall listening to her sing, it's going to make me feel really proud, definitely. Will build a 
was really beautiful. That was beautiful. I'm not crying, you're crying. At this festival, we remember all those who have been called to make personal sacrifice in the service of our nation, including the ultimate sacrifice. We stand shoulder to shoulder with all who serve. We will care for those who suffer, comfort the lonely, and give support to all in need. Holding high this torch of remembrance, we go forward, committed to strive for peace and justice for all people. Oh, man, I wanted to see more, guys. Oh, whoa, whoa, whoa. We wanted to see more, guys. Holy crap. That was such a great, uh, you know, song, uh, wherever you are. This was this was some powerful stuff. And it, it's not one of those things where, you know, obviously we, we've listened to a lot of songs and stuff like that. And this is not a song that I'm going to be like, yeah, you know what I mean, like that. So it's a different different tone, you know, a more seriousness uh, with it. But I think that with all the, it was very interesting hearing about, you know, grabbing a lot of the, the ladies' words from letters uh, and compiling it into a song. I think they um, captured uh, the essence of, you uh, you know, the, the song that they wanted to, you know, play out. And I think it, it, it just describes perfectly, uh, you know, their hearts are one, um, you know, very beautiful lyrics to it. You know, if, if I could cry, I, I, I would cry, you know, but it, it takes a massive amount for me to really, uh, you know, get teared up. But, it, you know, choirs are something that are, is very special to me. So, um, Scott, you maybe you heard that we love choirs because we've been in it and uh this was like the perfect uh suggestion for me because it just there is a it's such a great experience that it's had with uh choirs that, that it was something always to look forward to and a hangout a place where you know people like-minded spirits and for for this uh military wives choir there's no greater experience that they're sharing than what they're doing right there you know uh you know, waiting for your, your, your husband or your, you know, significant other, uh, you know, to return, uh, you know, the amount of, uh, worry and, and, you know, um, constantly thinking about, you know, someone that's, you know, overseas or wherever they're stationed, uh, is a, is a big deal, you know, cause, um, you never know if they're coming back. Uh, letters are, are a tremendous, uh, a very important thing. It, it's almost, something uh that feels um foreign now um in this world with everyone texting and, and stuff like that i still like to do letters and send out cards uh you know and handwrite things uh i still appreciate that thing and i remember even just growing up like um if you got a letter from some girl you like uh you know that shit meant a lot, you know what I'm saying? You're like, wow, man, this is great. Those are things that you cherish. So if I was a soldier, getting those letters are, are going to be things that you're going to get you through the harsh times and stuff like that. We've had some family that have uh, been in the military. I've known some, um, you know, uh, World War II vets uh, back in the day uh, that I got a chance to speak to. Uh, you know, on a regular basis and just hearing their stories is, is tremendous. So, uh, you know, it's, it's insane stories, but um, this was a beautiful song, beautiful lyrics. Uh, I'm happy hearing uh, that it's brought these ladies uh, a lot of joy because, you know, when you, you really, your mind can, if, if your mind is anything like mine sometimes, uh, it can go uh, race with a lot of thoughts processing in, in, in so many times where, uh, you know, uh, it's its its own worst enemy. And, and um, 
having an outlet is is something that a choir can do. So again, I, I'm speaking from experience of being in choirs and, and what it's done for me. It's helped. I wish I could still be in a choir right now. That would be great. But uh, you know, it's something that I've never forgotten. Uh, the years and years that uh, I was in a choir. So I was happy to hear this performance again. It's not a headbanger. I'm not. I'm. I'm used to you know me like this. So I'm more serious on this reaction. So you can't you know uh you know early on on it you know I can't be bopping my head like it, you know it's the greatest tune in the world. But it was the one of the most beautiful ones that we have heard. Uh, uh and I, and I really like the idea with the writing down. And this guy, uh, the you know, the guy who helped out, uh, forgive me on the guy's name there. I would have to look back at it. I'm not good with names, but uh, he, uh, you know, I think he captured the essence that these ladies were looking for. Uh, do they? Uh, I would love to maybe check out maybe some more songs that they have gone, you know, and uh, sung. That's a really cool performance. So lovely voices. Uh, no complaints on it. Uh, you, you know what I'm saying? It's not a, a it's not a song that I can get up and dance to, but uh, you know that's okay. We like to listen to you know uh, more serious tone songs too as well. Sometimes some ballads, you know everything. It, it's 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 a, a world is a a big world to explore. So enough of my rambling. Hopefully you liked it. It's a different tone, different for the channel. Uh, so um, definitely look forward to reading some comments. And again, Scott. Shout out to you. Thank you so much for your suggestion. If you would like your suggestion done on the channel, uh, link it below. Let's say, yo, kid, check this out. And uh, we'll do our best to fulfill that. And thank you as always. Uh, we'll see you next time. Peace and love. Peace.